Hey, Valerie Young here from ChangingCourse.com, and I'm here with the famous wine guy, Gary, and he's going to tell you why you need to really work with what you love, because that's exactly what you did. Yeah, you know, I think, uh, I'm going to assume the majority of you guys don't know who I am, so I'm going to give you a quick background. I got involved in my family business, a liquor store called Shoppers Discount Liquors. I rebranded it to Wine Library. I launched WineLibrary.com in 1996. Um, and built it from a couple million dollars a year to a $45 million a year business. It's grown from there since 2006 because I started building my personal brand. Right. I started Wine Library TV in February 2006. Um, in late 07, you know, Time Magazine, Conan O'Brien, Nightline, Ellen. I saw you on well, Ellen. You saw it? I did. You actually randomly caught it? <laughs> I did. That's I did. awesome. <laughs> um, and, and, and I started building my personal brand and because I worked really hard around what I really loved. And I think that's a very important thing. I think a lot of people that are watching right now you know, they're, they're in the love of making money. Mm -hmm. They're in love of the game or to sell. I think if you take it one step back and then think about what your hobby is or that other passion when you're not thinking right. about making cash, what are you doing? Are you fishing every weekend? Right. Or, you know, are you sewing in between mm -hmm. while you're waiting for your email blast to go out and convert? What are you doing in that time? When you think about that, when you take it one step back and realize, oh crap, I need to build my business around fishing, all the principles right the marketing, the hard work, the hustle, the grind you did to build your list, to convert, to figure it out, they're gonna all work for you. But the reason it's not really working for a lot of people is that's the only thing they're doing. Right. And the love of kind of making cash or converting is not enough. First of all, it can't truly be the core passion. I love making cash, but I love the Jets, I love wine, you know, root beer, I'm gonna start some sort of root beer site. <laughs> the, the fact of the matter is, think about those things because those have wine crazy upside. Beer. That's right, mix them. Crazy upside, if you're into rock climbing or yoga right. or gardening, because of this new platform, and, I, and yes, Facebook and Twitter get credit, but it's the internet itself. Right, absolutely. There's um, no excuse anymore. For there's today. not, because, and the reason there's no excuse is, there was never an excuse, but it was never so real. But I mean money, you know, people say, I can't money. afford to do these big ads. Money has been neutralized exactly. by That's the connection I mean. of people I mean. through the new online world, and that is a big statement. It's one that you need to wrap your head around. Rewind this, listen to that again. It's been neutralized, and so you true. I mean, listen, the Wine Spectator was a multi-million dollar business that had a 25 head, year head start on me, and if you ask anybody in the wine industry, I don't, you know, right. listen, I think the Spectator is the best, I love Marvin, but it's gonna be debated who's more powerful. That's crazy that one dude with a flip cam in New Jersey with no cash. And who was just being himself. Well, that's like always your personality. If you're trying to not, you know, I always say to people, I'm not good at not being me. Yeah. And neither is anybody. Mm -hmm. You know, if you think you're tricking anybody because you put on a suit and you took a picture in a nice desert island, <laughs> you're an idiot. <laughs> so, nobody's confused in this new era where everything is transparent and authentic. Right. You can't hide. You can't sell bullshit vitamins or, or content for $40,000 DVDs, that game is over. You need to recognize that you need to build a brand around what you love the most because you're gonna attract people to that authentic love and then you're gonna have a group and then you're gonna be able to monetize and convert. Plus, big businesses, Fortune 500 companies are gonna be looking to spend their money in these little pockets because television and newspaper and billboards and radio are overpriced for ROI. So if you have 500 people going to your site every day who love fishing, you can get sponsors. Fish, they're yeah. gonna get sponsors. Absolutely. You're gonna get sponsors. Fabulous. Thank you. Thank you. I just want people to recognize the shift in our culture. I, you know, mm -hmm. I, you know, you know what's so funny? I would not sit here and do this video five years ago yeah. because my answer would be full of crap. Okay. Again, the fact that the internet was created, the internet is 14 years old. The one that we all know, not the one that the geeks in San Fran know. Oh no, it was 1960. I don't give a crap about that. When AOL was sending, you know, CDs in the mail, and we all heard that thing. That's like 15 years ago. And what this platform has done in 15 years to neutralize big brands. You know, Yelp. Yelp's put Zagat out of business, mm -hmm. right? Anybody with a good idea and a hustle and a care have a shot to build a business. And so what I really want people to recognize is why it's different. Because I think, if you think that your audience is that way, they've been up and down this road before. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so I'm not just gonna be the next animated, charismatic, shockingly good-looking person to tell them about this. I want them to understand 
that it has changed. And it's the best time in the world to take these strengths that you're talking about. Sure, because it's still somewhat early. The yeah. New York Times and the Wall Street Journal and CNN and Fox and NBC, they're too big. They're a battleship. They can't move yet. You're a little steamboat. You can move. I got one more question for you. I'm going to bring up the book, okay? okay. You talk about a wine, li wine library TV. You did like two years of shows before anyone even, you were on the radar, before Conan came and you've been on uh, Ellen and all these kind of shows, okay? A lot of today's people, show. today's show, Oh <laughs> <laughs> right, that's today. Um, so play check play this too. out. Check this out. Let me say focus here. Let's say focus because they, they, they need you. They need you. Okay. So check this out. So a lot of people in my market that are watching here have been. I call them business opportunity grasshoppers. Okay. Today they just trying to do one thing. They're oh, chasing right. cash. Right now, let's say that pisses like, me off. I know. I want you to comment on okay. a second. I say, for my own career, I took seven years of drowning before I ever take a step forward. That you're always going to be insignificant before you're significant. Okay. The Gary Vaynerchuk story is you were insignificant doing a show at some, you know, disgusting room like this. You know, I'm talk about that now in the okay. talk, about, talk about talk about talk about not confusing insignificance with failure. That's what too many people are doing today. And you know what? I'm gonna throw a curveball to that. Right. I just, I want to go back to the grasshopper thing. Okay. Because this is the core principle of my book. When the, okay, great. Take it. Right. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I'm all with you. If you love the Dodgers, that's what needs to yeah. be your business. If you love yoga, that needs to be your business. What do you do when you're not working? Are you playing video games? Fine. Are you watching MMA? Fine. Are you gardening in upstate? Fine. That needs to be your business because I know, because we're keeping it real authentic, mm -hmm. that the far majority of people that are watching right now are chasing money. Mm -hmm. They're trying to figure out, well, let me figure out the guys who, the SEO landing page, I'll buy Google ads, I'll convert, the affiliate will pay more, and I'll sit on a fucking beach making millions. That's bullshit. Because what happens when Google changes their algorithm, right? Then you're screwed, like everybody's being screwed now. The only way to build a real business is to build it around what you love. Because the only way you're gonna build a real business, the one that your grandkids are gonna be proud of, is by working a shitload. And the only way you can work a shitload is because you love it, because you love the Dodgers, so you're up to three o'clock in the morning debating Manny's hair. Mm -hmm. And that's what I want people to realize. The fact that that micro niche, whether it's, like I said, rock climbing, or juice made from real fruit, or skydiving. The fact that you can make money in creating content, whether it's audio, video, or the written word in today's world for zero, and then promote it through Twitter, and Facebook, and Tumblr, and YouTube, and forums, and blogs for zero. The fact that that is real is